How you doing today? Yes. Very well. Making America healthy again. Thank you, sir. <laughs> Anyone born in the U.S. has the right to run for president. It's in the Bill of Rights. And this health food restaurateur in New Jersey is one of the some 1,500 presidential candidates registered with the Federal Election Commission for 2016. It's the American dream. You could be whatever you want to be. But can you? Can you become president? See, that's the challenge, and that's another reason I'm on this platform is for the people, by the people, they want a regular citizens governing our country. We got to change the system because if a, if a, a hardworking American can't become president, that eliminates 99% of our country. You know, so the 1% runs the 99. Study after study has shown that the social mobility promised in the American dream long ago disappeared. And election after election has shown that only a few can viably run for the country's highest office. We need a new way forward here that's not bought and paid for by predatory banks, by uh, fossil fuel giants, and by war profiteers who are funding the current system. Jill Stein was the Green Party presidential candidate in 2012 and hopes to be in 2016. Then she was on the ballot for nearly 85% of U.S. voters. In 2016, she says it may be 95 to 100% of voters. Hey, man, Rod Silva, running for president of the United States, independent. But even if a third party navigates 50 sets of electoral rules to get on each state's ballot, TV and newspapers are indifferent or hostile. Moreover, the Green and Libertarian parties are alleging in court that the Presidential Debate Commission is rigged to ensure only two parties are heard. Third parties hope that social media, which has proved so effective in bringing issues like race, inequality and climate change to the mainstream, will now make a difference amid growing national discontent with the Republicans and Democrats. We didn't know the Berlin Wall was going to come down, and it did. Uh, we didn't know a lot of things were going to happen that happened in human history. Things do eventually change. For the Greens, the forthcoming election is notable because Bernie Sanders' platform is so similar to theirs. Stein says the Democratic establishment will ensure he's not the nominee, but that even if he is, he would be just one man against a powerful Democratic Party machinery opposed to his goals. It's like helping a friend break up with an abusive relationship. How long will you keep making excuses for a political party that is pushing you over the cliff? In the last few weeks, the U.S. mainstream media has been discussing an alternative to the Republicans and Democrats. But it's Michael Bloomberg, the billionaire tycoon. Nonetheless, those really hoping to challenge the establishment say a true breakthrough is possible. And voila, that is perfecto. Shia Al Jazeera, New Jersey.